Hey GearHeads, today we're going to talk about the Springfield Armory XDS Single Stack 45. There we go, now we got one. So GearHeads, thanks for being here. If you're new here, let me tell you what we do. We do a lot of outdoor gear reviews. It can be camping, backpacking, and hiking, but we do a lot of firearms. We have rifles, we have pistols, we have silencers. We even do a little air guns from time to time. So if you like any of those things, please hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. You can see we've got a lot of stuff we're filming, a lot of reviews in the works. You don't wanna miss them, so go ahead and subscribe now. Let's dive in to the Springfield Armory. This is the XDS S, meaning it's the single stack. This is less than an inch wide. I believe it's 0.9. Let me look at the specs here. Uh, yes, 0.9 inches wide for a 45. This is a 45 ACP. It's a big deal to be able to make this less than an inch wide and this thin for a full 45 ACP handgun. Uh, the trade-off being a single stack, one in the chamber, five rounds in the magazine. So you have a five plus one typical configuration. If you put the larger magazine, they call it a mid-mag extension. If you put that in, you get six plus one, so it's a total of seven rounds. So you have to decide, is it worth the trade-off to have only a maximum of six plus one with their standard extended magazine versus some other options that you have to carry. Uh, that's up to you to decide. Uh, and I'll tell you, I like this. I shoot it okay, but I've actually, uh, I, I'm gonna sell this. This is uh, one of my personal firearms. I'm gonna sell it when this review's done because for me, I'm 6'4", I have big hands. Uh, it doesn't fit my hand well enough. It's a little small for me, and I prefer to have a firearm with a larger magazine capacity. With that said, I still think for the right person, this could be a good firearm. If your hands are a little bit smaller or if the situation that you're in dictates that that six plus one or even five plus one is an acceptable amount of ammunition in the magazine. So some key features here, we're looking at the 3.1 inch model. This is the subcompact version. We don't have fully ambidextrous controls, but pretty close. We have the magazine release here that you don't have to move it. That's something I see a lot of lately with pistols. They'll say it's an ambidextrous mag release, but you have to actually disassemble something and switch it from one side to the other. With this, Springfield really hit on something in that uh, you don't have to do anything. It looks the same from both sides and you push it one direction or the other. It's the same function. Uh, the cuts in the side of the grip are the same on either side. So from that perspective, it's ambidextrous. Your takedown lever is only on the left and your slide lock back is only on the left. So something else I really like about what Springfield has done with the XDS is they put a fiber optic sight on it. You can see the front sight here. And I'll tell you, we're in a little bit of a low light as the sun's going down here and it's lit up pretty bright. I really like the sight they put on there. On the back, we actually have something from JP Enterprises. This is the JPA XD. It's the um, J point red dot optic adapter. It's a dovetail adapter for Springfield XD pistols. So it's the XD, the XDM, the XDS. Any of those have the same dovetail on the back. This adapter, I'll have to put some video or, or at least some pictures up of Jason installing this for us. And he had to beat the snot out of it to get it in there. I'll be honest with you, but it's in there and it's good and solid. This is a Smith and Wesson. MMP9 core uh, and a J-Point optic you see sitting here. It started its review life here at Gear Report on this uh, XDS. And you know, it did okay, but this gun just doesn't feel right in my hand. So I took it off, put it on there. That gun fits my hands a little bit better, but we've still got this base. You can put a variety of different red dots on it, or 
we can uh, take the set screw out, knock this out, put the fiber optic rear sights in. So we have the three point two post in the back, one in the front, and it'll be back to the normal configuration. Uh, it's nice that we have some options here, depending on what you want to carry. We have a Glock type trigger here with the, the little center trigger portions. So that's your safety on the trigger. There is a small um, 1913 rail on the front underneath so if you have a flashlight or a laser or you know, maybe you've got the little ATN high def camera that fits on a rail that you could put something like that on here as well. Another feature that's kind of nice is when there's a round in the chamber there's a, a little pivoting bar that sticks up a little so you get a very clear visual indication that you, that you actually have a round in the chamber. Oh, and by the way, we've got a grip safety, which is a little different. A lot of the firearms that you see today have really gotten away from that grip safety. You know, if you're a 1911 shooter, that's just kind of something you're used to feeling and used to, you know, it's not going to work unless you have it really seated in your hand well. So you get that with these uh, XD pistols uh, made in Croatia, by the way. Some of the stats, so I don't get them wrong here. Oh, we have a dual spring. So the early gen Glocks had the single stage spring. Lately, they've moved to a dual stage spring. Some people may suggest that's in reaction to Springfield going to the, to the uh, dual spring with the full length guide rod. Height, 4.4 inches. When the compact mag is in, it goes up to five inches when you have the extended mag to get that six plus one capacity. It's a forged steel slide with melanite finish. Same thing on the barrel, it's a melanite finish. 3.3 inch hammer forged barrel. It's a one in 16 twist. Total length overall is 6.3 inches. We already mentioned the, that the frame grip width is 0.9 inches, so again, this is meant to be a concealed carry pistol. It's got some rounded edges. It has as thin as they could make it, and that is so it doesn't print as bad. It's more concealable. So those are the key statistics. Let me know if you have any questions, anything about this. Don't forget here at Gear Report, we really appreciate you, and we'd appreciate if you would like the video, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, go find us on Facebook, and, and give us a like there. Heck, you can even go to gearreport.com. Uh, you see the URL here, gear-report.com. And don't forget the links in the description uh, where you can get more information from the manufacturer or find some place to buy it.